I love the taste of wine, but I can't say I know too much about the differences between varieties. Recently, I tried to become a little more knowledgeable by visiting my Aunt Shari, who works for Linden Wines in Virginia, and actually owns a vineyard of her own. She was extremely helpful in teaching me how to explore the look, texture, scent, taste, and sound of wine. And that sound is what really stuck with me. This class project started out by picking a design movement out of a hat, which for me was the Vienna Secession. Started in 1897, the movement sought to lessen the distinction between the fine arts and crafts, or art for the rich and the poor. Yet Vienna has always had a rich artistic culture, including the music of Beethoven, Haydn, and Mozart, and that's where I began drawing my inspiration from. The objective of the project was not to blatantly copy an old design style, but instead take the ideas associated with it to make something original. I asked Shari to help by sending me a list of adjectives describing the three general wines we were assigned, red, white, and rosé. From these descriptions, I began to try translating their meanings into the language of music. So since whites generally have a crisp, bright taste, the note is sharp with an accent underneath. The red is sturdy and mouth-filling, as seen by the longer, drawn-out note value. The rosé has a refreshing, delicate taste, emphasized by a shorter note value and natural sign. Colored guitar picks are tied around the bottlenecks by guitar strings to allow customers to quickly distinguish a variety. In keeping with the illustrative feel of the secession, each note was hand-painted in India ink, later applied to the bottles using rub-on INTs. The notes were then placed on a consistent music staff, which allows them to interact with each other when placed on a shelf. Playing the notes together also creates a harmonious chord in A major, further emphasizing the complementary relationship between wines. I still don't claim to be a connoisseur, but I definitely enjoyed learning a lot more about wine in this process. And now that I've finished my portfolio after two freaking years, I think I'm going to go learn a lot more about wine tonight.